brakes. The Mini V brakes, very, very powerful. Very powerful. Now, speaking of rim brakes, Wabi only makes bikes that take rim brakes. And it's great. Think every single Wabi I've ever had, well, I've only had two of them. My Wabi Classic with rim brakes, it's been the easiest bike to live with from a maintenance standpoint. Many, many, many times I've been stuck dealing with the tubeless, dealing with the disc, dealing with a whole bunch of stuff. Hold on. Doing a whole bunch of maintenance on my other disc brake geared road bikes while my Wabi Classic just sits in the corner. All I had to do is put air in the tires, lube the chain, and it's ready to go. And I could say the same thing with this Wabi Thunder. I did have a lot of trouble with the brakes at first, but that's kind of where the rim brakes the wide tire rim brakes, they take a bit of finessing, but ever since I put the Mini V's on, absolute perfection. The brakes are very, very powerful on this bike. And as you can see, 40 millimeter tires, no problem. If anyone from Wabi happens to be watching this video, Wabi, if you guys made the Thunder in a 1x10, 1x11, 1x12, if you started to make geared road bikes, I think that'd be, that's a wrap. Those things would fly off the shelves. You'd reach a lot more people, you reach a lot more customers. If I could, if, if this bike was a 1x11 or 1x12 or 1x whatever, you know, once you could fit a 10, 11 or 12 speed cassette in the back, you can, the world is your oyster as far as what gears you want to put on there. That's pretty much it. This could be your adventure bike, endurance bike, all road bike. You could fit 40 mil tires. Yeah, rim brakes, but who cares? Rim brakes are simpler. A Wabi used to make the Lightning RE, which was a geared road bike. It came with micro shift 2x10, and it was basically the Wabi Lightning with 2x10 gears. They stopped making it for some reason. Maybe people didn't want it. This was around the time that disc was starting to enter the industry. A lot of people wanted the wider tire clearance, and that bike only topped out at 25. But if they made their one of their models, their Lightning or their Classic, in a geared version, and they made the Thunder in a geared version, That'd be absolute perfection. That'd be a true one bike does everything. A model like this, an all road model, could benefit from some cable actuated disc brakes, similar to the Surly Straggler we were talking about before, but there's really no need for disc brakes if you wanna keep things simple. With that being said, we're gonna wrap up this ride. The ride by the numbers, 13.2 miles, 311 feet of climbing and we were out for about an hour and a half. Average speed, 11.3 miles an hour. So overall, the bike did absolutely great. Wabi is actually taking some pre-orders for this model right now. So if you wanna get, get yourself a set or get yourself one of these, if you just want a simple, no nonsense, single speed all road bike, this is the bike to get. Again, that's a whole other topic for a whole other video. But yeah, bike did great, a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.